have an egg with Pippi. Good uh, morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. We have an egg that's pipping. We also have the horses in the field. Don't sit in the Poor ground. Chino still does not fit into our little herd. They push him away. He's always on his own. Girls are mean. Girls are mean. Like, girls are so much meaner than boys. Gracie is so mean. I feel like in so many, in so many species, like, the girls are, are mean. But, I mean... There is a place in life for mean, like for protection. Like I think the girls definitely think they're protecting each other from Chino, because he's a big boy. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to today's video. Today, Sophie and I are headed out. Gabby just woke up. We've already done chores. We've already put the horses out. We're headed to a store, like another farm store, one that we've never taken you guys to before. So we're gonna go there. You guys know I'm compiling like my best, <sighs> first aid kit I want to put it all together and make a special kit and I heard that they have interesting stuff there uh, so many of you guys chimed in on our last video and said that a couple of the things that we showed you were so good I'm gonna go back to TSC and I'm gonna get those things because um, one is a wound killer and or a wound healer and I definitely want that I'm gonna add that into our mix but right now we're gonna take you guys with us and we're gonna go and see what this other little farm store has so Wow, you got a lot of good stuff in here. Oh, let's go look. Is it your first time here? I uh, know, I've been here once before. In a large cattle. Uh, I need to make note of all this stuff so that I can come here when I... What's bag bomb for? I've heard of it. It probably is better. to the udder of a cow. Oh, well, we don't need that. <laughs> You can actually get mineral oil here. I bought my mineral oil at Walmart and it was not a big bottle like that. Sophie found. Oh, baby chicks. That must be how they come from the hatchery. That's adorable. Little tiny packages of them. Oh, that's yeah. cute. Does it say what kind they are? Look, they have all the, all the stuff for electric fencing here. They have so much more stuff that we need here than at any other store we've been to. Well, that was an amazing store like that was worth it they have everything that I've never seen before everything the ladies in there were really lovely too I love lovely ladies I didn't check my receipt to see how much the shavings are but I am interested to see if I got a deal <laughs> remember I told you we bought shavings the other day and they were ten dollars well wow this is ah they even have stuff there that you had to like have a license to, to have but it, they have like a lot of interesting medications and stuff they even have like medications for chickens like for wounds and like really good stuff it's so hot. I didn't show it very much because it was such a tiny yeah let's go it's hot such a tiny store today's the day that we do our weekly chicken coop clean we do it every single week we try and do it every single week we're mostly successful with that but anyway we take out all the shavings and we clean all of our stuff and we make it nice for the chickens. It is almost the end of August and a lot of our grass is dying now, which is super unfortunate. I hate that it happens in summer here. I fill this water jug, it's a pretty big jug. I fill it about every three days and I clean it and scrub it each time I fill it. And actually I find it the, to be one of the best ones for like algae and stuff. It doesn't get super dirty. And this one, I find the absolute worst to clean because you can see it's got like these beveled edges here and algae gets in between there and it's really difficult to clean. It takes forever to scrub this one. So this is the water that I just cleaned and it is my least favorite one. I hate this sucker. I, ugh. I wish they made better waters for chickens. So this is my favorite one. This is my least favorite one, but this is the one that chickens love the best. It's so bizarre. This one has the nipples underneath, so they have to hit the nipples. But this one has like this little, you have to, this one's just annoying in every way, trust me. But the chickens love it the best. They're like, I hate chicken cleaning day. <laughs> do you hate chicken cleaning day? She's like, I really do. Sophie is filling the coop while I sweep up all this stuff. This is all like shavings. Isn't that crazy? Like there's a lot of it. Ah! Uh, 
And that, my friends, is why I don't want too many chickens. Just like that. Like really, padded. really padded? Oh my gosh, she's a slave driver for her chickens. So just like that, we have new bedding. I like to use shavings in the summer and then I like straw in the winter because straw is more insulating and doesn't get as wet, I find. Fresh shavings all around their coop. And we're done for now. Like literally, I have two more for years. I have two more, look at my nose, I'm pouring sweat. I have two more, two more waters to fill and clean and we have horses to put inside. But first we're gonna have lunch. All that before lunch. It is supposed to rain today. We brought that down there. And Sophie and I just heard thunder, like huge thunder. We actually just got invited to go someplace so cool. It's also the day that we're supposed to do show prep. So I think we're gonna go. It's far away, a long drive. It'll involve some organizing, but I think it's worth it. Like I think it's gonna be worth it to go. You guys will get to see, we'll vlog the whole thing. It's horse related and really cool. No, <laughs> this morning, Sophie set this up when we came down to do chores and let the horses out. Sophie set this up for her pony. And when I came in, she said, did Penny push it? <laughs> honestly, honestly, how cute is that? How cute. We're like in here with the horses and we look over and there are the dogs sitting perfectly together. And they're both scared of the horses. She's not gonna get off. Yeah, these two horse, these two dogs are scared of the horses. So Daisy's breed, no, Daisy's she's scared. Like, help me. Help, there's horses between you and me. So uh, Daisy does not like the barn. I've seen a few questions of people who are like, why isn't Daisy ever in the barn? And the truth is she does not like it. She actually hates the barn. She hates it. Sophie has on a vibration collar and is like, is training her today. Every once in a while she does like a refresher. Don't let Daisy out of the barn. She does like a refresher to remind her about like what the rules are and stuff because Daisy, like I said, Daisy hates the barn and she hates the horses. And even though her breed should mean that she loves horses, she doesn't. But I think it's because she's deaf. When Her being deaf is really like impacted the way she looks at life. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> she's like, I am not going in there, Laura. There are scary animals. Because even though she can feel the vi vibration, she can't tell when they're coming. Like imagine sitting in the middle of the arena and then suddenly you look up and there's a giant horse looming over you. Like she, her not being able to hear oh, was ma made a big, thing. has made a big effect on her. Go canter that. All right, let's see. She has to chew her carrot. Oh, hello, Gabby. Here's one thing to know about Willa. If you give her a treat and you're like, okay, come on now, after two seconds, she's like, I have to chew first. Yeah, but this horse, she just loves. She like runs. She just loves doing stuff. She's a little chubby. I can't even sit on the couch and video over there because <laughs> Penny's in the way. Penny's looking for anything. She's looking around. Oh my gosh, what can I do? <laughs> At least she literally knows her worth. She knows what she does well. I wanna see what Gracie can do. I'm gonna just sit right here. Gracie, your girl is here. It's time to work. Work off some of that belly, some of that grass belly. Honestly, the worst thing ever is when your dog, who's hairy, goes and gets a drink and then rubs her face all over your leg. <laughs> See? <laughs> all we just have to do is walk into the arena. Oh my gosh. And then the other dog just jumps on your lap. Woo! <laughs> and then there's a horse. Yeah, yeah there's a lot going on. <laughs> we, need to, we need to teach Penny new tricks because honestly, like all she's got is pushing stuff. Gracie. Gabby, teach Gracie something interesting. Mm. 
You ready for it, Gracie? Oh, yeah. We should do that challenge where you sit on there and then you balance with your saddle. Go get a saddle and we'll put it on there. I would die. I'm already leaning. No, we're doing it. There's a bear. <laughs> she wants to do it too. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> she wants to push it. Gracie. I know. She's mean. She's so mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got nothing. Come on, she says. I think you have to tie it on. Like We're girth. Not tying it. I've never seen it tied on. I think you have to girth it on and then have stirrups too. Put your feet in the you stirrups. Have to wait for it to slide off. Slide off. All right. You have to have stirrups but no girth. Stirrups but no girth, Gabby says. All right, who thinks Gabby can do it? I can't. Once you sit your butt in there, it'll weigh it down. Who remembers whose still? <laughs> who remembers whose saddle that was? There's a, it's great weather. I love that. Uh, yeah, I love that saddle. No, look, it doesn't. It was going the other way too, so it has to be in the middle, or else. It... All right. So then you put your like feet up like your like your bareback or like you're with no stirrupless. No with stirrup. like with your stirrups. You put your feet up like you have stirrups. Oh, yeah. it's oh. This is gonna tell the tale if Gabby. Re well, some people. Oh, no, it's leaning. Some like people that. put a pull, put. I've seen people put like a standard in front of it with reins so you can hold on to that. My hip. You were wondering. Okay, so one foot is up. One both foot. Of them are up. Oh, they're both up? You did it! Oh. Gabby did it! Sure the That's cool. Her feet are off the ground. Gotta make sure the barrel's are in the middle, or else we'll just turn. I think you are doing it. Now you have to like post. I'm leaning. I'm trying to catch her feet. It's not working. It's just going faster. Post, sister, post. I'm still leaning. I can't post. It's not a slippery. Oh, that's so good! It, that's fun. Everybody should do that. I told Brandon we should do this and a, as a lesson. Feet up. She's doing it. No. Post. It is fun. Oh, post. I wanted to post. You could not. I could. Post, Sophia. That's really fun. That is actually the most comfy saddle I've ever sat in. So don't forget to post below, comment below whose saddle that is. I know, it's too bad. It's I actually thought it was somebody else's saddle, but it, it's, it's not. It is. It's 100% not yours. Yours is darker brown, has a deeper seat, and it's... That is so comfy. That is so comfy. Yeah. That's why I love this one. That's why it's still here. Ah. Yeah, that's why it's still here, even though we don't have anybody that can fit it. Daisy's like, save me. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Daisy. Help, help, they dragged me to the barn. Yeah. Usually she runs down, runs to the barn, runs back up and sits on the front porch until we let her in because she hates it down here. She was going side to side. Gracie's like, wow, let me try and it. And then Tino's just straight up and down. There's no forward. Here, <laughs> have a carrot. Have a carrot. She won't eat it if it's too big of a piece, see? But yeah, this little Miss Daisy. Being deaf is 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 a totally different thing. Like think about people who are deaf. You have to learn like a whole other set of ways to to like go out there and be in the world. And Daisy and Daisy kind of set her own rules. She does what everything that we ask her to, but when it comes to coming down to the barn, it's not her thing. But look at look at Gracie's hooves. Oh, you can't really tell, but back there they looked pure silver. And Gabby's still on the thing. Oh, I would sit there just to be able to sit on that saddle. We should donate our extra saddles to the school, to be honest. That was cute. That was adorable. Daisy's got her paws on me. <laughs> just help, help, she says. Help me, Laura. <laughs> you can't get mad at her, Sophie, because you taught her to push things for treats. And when you walk towards the, the pole, she's like, okay, it's gonna happen now. 
We're gonna do it now. <laughs> She's mad. It's okay. She's a meanie. Come say hi to Daisy. <laughs> Have you seen those dogs that ride with their owners? Like they have like a little spot on the saddle? Yeah, she. That's your first ride on a horse, Molly. And then over in this corner, we have chicken and. Because she pushes everything. Don't push me. She pushed me. She's like, I see something new in the barn. What is that? Gabby's gonna trust fall on her horse. <laughs> would you trust fall on your mare? No. I don't. I would trust fall on my mare. Your mare would flinch. <laughs> She's like, I do know you. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the